okay problem the beam section 100 mm by 200 mm is subjected to shear force of 60 km determine the shear stress induced on a layer at 50 mm above the neutral axis and 25 mm below the neutral axis first of all write down the given data a section a rectangular section its width it is 100 mm and depth it is 200 mm depth it is 200 mm okay and shear force s is equal to it is given 60 km 60 km converted is in kilometer to newton 60 into 10 raised power 3 it is in newton okay then first question find out shear stress induced on a layer at 50 mm above the neutral axis okay so i will draw the rectangular section so this is a rectangular section its width it is b is equal to it is 100 mm 100 mm and depth it is 200 mm depth it is 200 mm its depth it is 200 mm depth it is 200 mm d is equal to 200 mm d is equal to 200 mm okay so first of all draw the neutral axis let's show the neutral axis neutral axis it is d by 2 so this one it is neutral axis and neutral axis okay neutral axis the neutral axis it is located d by 2 d by 2 from top above the neutral axis it is d by 2 below the neutral axis it is d by 2 so this portion this it is 100 m so this one is 100 m 100 m okay. so first of all so question was Shear stress induced on layer 50 mm above the neutral axis. Just show it is in color portion, in red color portion. So I will show. So we need to calculate shear stress for this portion. Shear stress for this portion. So this layer it is 50 mm above the neutral axis. Okay. So this layer it is 50 mm about the neutral axis. So just consider this layer it is PQ. PQ. Okay. This red layer it is PQ. Okay. Just consider this red layer it is PQ. Okay. So depth it is located from neutral axis how much? This one it is 50 mm from the neutral axis. 50 mm from the neutral axis. So this distance it is 50 mm. Okay. This distance it is 50 mm from the neutral axis. So total depth it is 100 mm above the neutral axis. So remaining portion red depth it is 100. Sorry, red depth it is 50 mm. So this portion it is also 50 mm. Red depth it is 50 mm. Red depth it is also 50 mm. Okay. Red depth it is also 50 mm. Okay. So now first question. Shear stress. Shear stress layer layer PQ 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 50 mm above the neutral axis 50 mm above any neutral axis neutral axis for that so first of all you calculate area of this red portion it is width it is 100 depth it is 50 mm Depth it is 50 mm. 100 into 50 it is 100 into 50 to be 5000 mm square. 5000 mm square. 5000 mm square. Okay. So this one is area of the portion. Then calculate y bar. Y bar. Y bar is equal to. Y bar is equal to. So Red portion it is located 50 mm from the neutral axis plus 50. So, CG of this red portion 50 by 2. 50 by 2. 50 by 2. Okay. This one it is 50 by 2. So, it will get fiber it is 75. Fiber it is 75 mm. Okay. Fiber it is 75. The next kind of moment of motion I is equal to this VD cube by 12. I is. Take this for overall section VDQ by 12. VDQ 
divided by y. Okay. So here B it is 100 mm. B it is 100. Into D it is 200. 200 cube. 200 cube. Divided by 200 cube. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. So do you get moment of inertia? 100 into 200 cube divided by 12, it will be 66.67. 66.67 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. So, we still have B is equal to 100. We stop right there, portion is 100. Calculate shear stress at PQ or can say it will be Q15 is equal to so shear stress equation it is S A Y bar S A Y bar S A Y bar divided by IB divided by IB divided by IB is equal to shear force it is 60 into 10 raised to power 3 Area it is 5000 mm square. Y bar it is 75 mm. 75 mm. Divided by. Divided by. Divided by. I it is. 66.67 into 10 raised to the power 6. Into width it is 100. So here Q50 is equal to. Shear stress. 50 mm about the little axis. So 60 into 10 raised to power 3 into 5000 into 75 divided by 66.67 into 10 raised to power 6 into 100. So it will be 3.374. 4 Newton per m. Newton per m square. Newton per m square or mp. Newton per m square or mp. Okay. So this one it is shear stress at 50 m above the Newton x. So we will change this value. So we 50 is equal to 50 is equal to 3.3714 mp. Okay. Mp or Newton per m square. So next question. Capital shear stress 25 mm below the neutral axis. Second question. Yes, second question. Second question. Shear stress. Shear stress. At clear, at clear, RS, at clear, RS, at clear, RS, 25 mm below neutralized, 25 mm below the neutralized. So just show 25 mm below the neutralized. Okay. 25 mm below the neutralized. So this one is downward direction below the neutralized. So this width it is 25 mm. 25 mm below the neutral axis. 25 mm below the neutral axis. Total depth of bottoms below the neutral axis it is 100 mm. Okay. So, so how much? 100 minus 25 it will be this portion. Okay. So how much this one it will be? 100 minus 25 this it will be 75. So this depth it is 75 mm. 75 mm. Okay. So now, just show the shear stress below the 25. Area of shear stress below the 25. This one it is portion. Okay, red portion. Okay. So now, calculate area of this red portion it is width it is 100 mm and depth it is 75. So 100 into 75. 
hundred into seventy-five. That will be seven thousand five hundred mm square. Seven thousand five hundred mm square. Seven thousand five hundred mm. And then, okay. Next y bar. Next y bar. Y bar is equal to y bar is equal to y bar is equal to this. B it is sorry. So red portion located below the neutral axis it is twenty five man. Twenty five plus seventy five by twenty five plus F, red portion depth divided by two. That portion depth it is 75. So 75 divided by 2. Okay. 75 So it will get 1 bar per below the neutral axis. So 25 plus 75 by 2. So it will be 62.5. 62.5 mm. Then B it is also here. 100 mm. 100 mm. And moment of inertia is. I calculated already this one is i is equal to pd cube by that is 66.67 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4 okay now now you can say this this one it is RS portion. RS is it. This layer it is RS. Okay. RS. So you can say it will be QRS. QRS or Q25. Q25 is equal to the shear stress equation it is SAY bar. SAY bar. SAY bar. Divided by I. So yes, it is shear force. It is sixty kilo newton, sixty into ten to the power three. It is in newton. Area it is seven thousand five hundred into y bar. It is sixty two point five. Sixty two point five divided by divided by. I B I it is 66.67 into 10 to the power 6 into width it is 100 m 100 m q25 q25 or qrs is equal to 60 into 10 to the power 3 into 7500 into 62.5 divided by 66.67 into 10 to the power 6 into 100. So it will get 4.218. 4.218 Newton per m. Newton per m. So this is your final answer. Newton per m. Okay. So question was shear stress induced on left optimum above the neutrons. So 50 mm above the neutral axis shear stress, it is 3.374 mp, that is Newton per mm square. And 25 mm below the neutral axis, that is 4.218 Newton per mm square or mp. Okay. This is your final answer.